Hey, this is Noah. I recognize that probably a majority of the people who watch me probably don't play Yakuza, but uh, I hate to be that guy, but you're gonna have to put up with this. This is just how it's gonna be. And as an added bonus, if you are the people who do play Yakuza, my boy, you will have to put up with some spoilers here. Otherwise, please click off the video until you've dealt with Yakuza 7 and the rest of the franchise. I'll give you a few seconds here to decide if you want to experience the spoiling. Okay, so I just want to gush about a particular scene in Yakuza 7, and I believe I've actually discussed it on previous uh, videos on my channel, but now I've actually gotten to the point in Yakuza 7 where Kazuma Kiryu shows up, where I've seen the clip of him coming in, delivering the powerful right hook, and ending that man's career. Now I've actually gotten to that point and I understand context. As a spoiler for the previous entries in the series, Kazuma Kiryu, basically after... The Yakuza 1 is spending his entire time saying, I don't want to be a Yakuza anymore. And then the Yakuza saying, Please, you are the only Yakuza. You have to help. And he's just like, Okay, I guess. Yakuza 6 ends with him faking his own death. In the scene in Yakuza 7 when he comes back, the context is, your party is aiding the heads of the Omi Alliance clan and the Tojo clan, the two main clans that were warring throughout all of Kiryu's, like, story in the original, like, zero through six titles. And they're trying to help them make the announcement that they are dissolving both of the clans. And they were prepared for outrage. That's why they were there to help. When the scene comes in, dude tries to kill... Uh, Masaru Watase, Kiryu shows up, and they're all like, He's back! How did you find him? And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Some extra muscle eyed. And I made this statement to my brother while I was playing, while they were making the, the announcement that they were dissolving the clans. That I was like, yeah, they finally realized Kiryu was right. He spent his entire time trying to not be Yakuza, and they were like, wait a minute. We could not be Yakuza. And then he made the statement, that's why he came back. That's the one thing that could get him to come out of hiding. Is to support the fact that they're trying to do that. Other than the fact that uh, Daigo Dojima is involved, and he's literally his son. Basically. That scene hurt me. I just wanted to gush about that, bearing in mind that I have not even finished the game. So it may be actually revealed later that he very literally says... I came back because of this, in wording. But at the moment where I am in the game, that was the only, like, I had literally just finished that chapter where that happens. And I had made that realization. So I guess I'm partially making this as a discussion video of that scene and how that's like, oh, that's really cool. But also as a, uh, if I was right and that happens later, and they very specifically mention that is his justification, then, um, we take them. That's it. I hope you didn't want spoilers because you got spoilers not just for this game, but for the ending of Kiryu. This is Noah. That's an Nancy. I still don't have that. See ya.